Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Miss Tahina with Missing Those Math. For those of you that again that are staying home, those of you that you know your students or your kids are at home and you know they need to get their math skills, you know, they need to keep them sharp and going. I have another game for you to play, and it involves three dice. So if you guys can go to your game boards, Monopoly, anything, get three dice, and I have a really cool math game to show you. Let's check it out. Okay, I don't even have a name for this, guys. You can just call it Math with Dice. So I have two dice where you're just going to leave them alone. And what I did is I took some piece of paper. And you, depending on what your student needs to work on. So I have multiplication here. I have addition, another addition. I have subtraction. Um, so it depends on what your student's really working on. If they are working with multiplication you might want to put more multiply if they're just learning to add or subtract you might just make it all add or subtract so you can decide what you put on here so what you're basically going to do is have you know your kids roll these three dice and we have a five and a five and we have times so they would just go five times five and get 25. And so this is just going to keep their math sharp. You have a 4, you have a 1, and you have multiply. So they're going to go 4 times 1 is 4. Now, I hear what you're saying. It's going to be hard for them to know their 6s, 7s, 8s, and 9s. You might, um, you know, figure out a way to do like I did here. Maybe, you know, once they get great with their 1 through 5s, maybe you can now switch these. You can... Take a piece of paper, put on here sixes, seven, eights, or nines. You know, you can do what I did. I just cut up pieces of paper and I just taped it to the dice. That's all you have to do. So let's just keep rolling here. So we have four and three, and then we have a subtract. So, um, you know, if your students are learning exponents, you might tell them to go, you know, you might order them where it's three minus four, and they'd have to get negative one. Or, you know, if they're just starting to learn their subtraction, you can just say, okay, four minus three. So you can always incorporate more than one dice here. You know, you can bring in another pair of dice if you, your, you know, kids are getting really good. And, you know, you can have them, you know, do another sign dice also. So, you know, you can, your options are limitless here. Let's try another one here. Six times one is six. Six plus one is seven. So either, you know, their brains are having to go, okay, oh, I'm adding six. And, you know, the times is going to look a little different here, just so that you know the difference between add and subtract. So, you know, their brain's going to have to go, wait, oh, this is six plus one. Because I know a lot of students, they get this confused. They might think this is six because they're so used to multiplying. So it's good to just keep their, you know, their heads sharp. 5 times 4, oh, that's 20. So this is just something real resourceful because I think everybody has dice around the house. 4 times 1 is 4. So it's just going to be one of those things where it's, it's neat to 5 minus 5 is 0. So like I said, when they start to get really good, you can, you know, change the number on the dice. Take your own piece of paper, write a 7, a 9, um, you know, whatever numbers they need help with so that's the beauty about this is once they start getting good you can always change the numbers to and then you know you can make um, a multiply you know make the whole thing multiply once they you know start to learn their multiplication facts so it's just a really neat thing because i think everybody has a pair of dice dice and it's so random uh six plus six that's 12 and i think they're gonna just be really you know excited because everything's just so random they don't they never know what's going to come up here so it's just you know it's not going to take you hours to do flashcards. your flashcards are a pair of dice right here and you know whatever pops up on here it's just so random that they're going to be you know uh oh let's see six times six oh that's 36 six minus six that's zero so i think their brain is just going to stay real sharp on knowing their different functions and just their multiplication facts how you know adding which numbers so it's going to be really cool hopefully you get a chance to enjoy this 
give me, uh, you know, in the comments section, what do you think I should call this game? But anyway, give this a shot. This took me literally a couple of minutes just to cut some piece of paper and tape, put that on my third pair of dice there, or my third dice. Okay, guys, hopefully you have fun with this. Uh, I'll see you in my next video. I'm Mr. Hino with Missing No Math.